Baby on the tree top, it's a bit blow to create a rock. When the river reached, the river falls, and I woke a baby cradle and all. Fuck 
my baby in tree top, with my boat cradle rock, with my baby cradle fall down, go baby cradle and roll. Well, that's the story of Rockabye Point. And to this day, 20 years later, you can still hear him singing. Listen. It's the cradle we'll fall, and down we'll come, baby cradle and roll. Sing it to me again, will you, Charlie? All righty. Oh, rock a my baby in a treetop. There are few things in the realm of nature more dramatic than the long journey of an iceberg. Starting from the cold regions of the Antarctic, it floats majestically towards the South Seas, where the hot sun melts it rapidly. Often, someone is marooned on these icebergs, and as the warm waters melt his little floating island, he struggles bravely for survival. Then, gasping his last gasp, he sinks beneath the cruel sea. Bananas. All I eat are bananas. <laughs> For 28 years, I've been eating bananas. A visitor? Uh, for me? You know, I thought I saw a penguin. A penguin? <laughs> I'm pleased to eat you. I mean, to meet you. You're just in time for dinner. <laughs> penguin pizza pie. Man, oh man. Don't that sound just scrumptious? Now, don't move. <laughs> now just lie down whilst I make you nice and comfy. There. He's a cute little fella. Shucks. I tell you, I feel like a downright heel. And that's a cotton pecking truth. But you know, folks, I'm hungry! <laughs> Here, boy. You and me's got a date for dinner.
You wouldn't shoot an old defenseless dog, now would you? I'm under a flag of truce, son. You know what that means. I guess he doesn't. I'll use my Australian boomerang to fetch him. Just a flick of the wrist, and he's back. Uh-oh, it's you again. Man, I'm getting off this island. <laughs> Last I'm rid of that big ape. That's what he thinks.
Val, have one on me. There's a clue. Something fishy going on around here. <laughs> Just a minute, you, you, you skating rink saboteur. And don't come back. I caught you red-handed, boy. I'm giving you the old brush-off treatment. <laughs> Smedley speaking here. Smedley, where are you? And did you catch the troublemaker yet? Oh, yes, sir. I got him right here. 
And I'm at, uh, Station 8, sir. Uh, yes, sir. Uh, station 8. Uh, or 7. Uh, or 6. 5, 4, 3, 2, 1. <laughs> I'm getting rid of you. Now get lost. Adios, goodbye, and good riddance. Um, and he won't need these anymore. Was you making holes to catch fishes? <laughs> no, 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 sir. It weren't me, sir. It was that little old. from Washington for little old me. <clears throat> it has come to our attention that hibernating bears are being disturbed by park visitors. Hmm, maybe I better do a little check. are allowed in that thar cave. Here, read that sign. Can't read, huh? Well, I'll tell you what it says. It says, Don't wake up the sleeping birds! Birds!
Took my bed. Wait till I lay my hands on that penguin. <laughs> 